the load-bearing capacity of slanted metal corrugated roofs, or tile roofs, is not very high, therefore aluminium rail type mounting structures are used, as they are lightweight. If installed incorrectly for instance, if the screws are loose, then the module would be unstable, and due to wind load it would move, resulting in micro cracks. Before you begin, you need to cross verify the boundaries and the no work areas, from the layout drawing. These include, turbo wind ventilators, skylights, etc. Then, based on the drawing, precisely identify, and mark out the area, where the modules will be laid. During marking, in case the identified area is overlapping obstructions, for instance a turbo wind ventilator, then, you must not mark the area near the turbo wind ventilator, and inform your supervisor. Now, once the area is marked, within the marked area, based on your requirement, you must identify the areas which have existing screws already on the roof. These are usually found on the crest of the roof, over the purlin. Now, remove the screws carefully. Then, take the EDPM rubber, which is used for waterproofing, and place it on the holes, where the screws once were. Now take the roof mount which is a standard, L-shaped mount, that acts as the base of the entire rail and place this on top of the EDPM rubber, such that the longer side of the L-shaped mount faces upwards. Then you take the self-drilling screws with the EDPM washer, and secure the roof mount to the roof. Ensure that you fix the screw correctly. If done incorrectly, for instance if the self-drilling screw is too tight, it can damage the EDPM layer. Similarly, if the screw is too loose, then there will be a gap between the layers. In both these instances, water can seep through the ceiling. Use a torque wrench, with the correct torque value, and make sure to tighten the screw. Mark the screws after torquing, to confirm torquing has been done. Once all the L-shaped mounts are in place, you can move on to fixing the aluminium rails, which is the main component of the mounting structure. For this, you need to connect the rail to the roof mount, by inserting the roof mount key lock, into the rail channel. Align the height of the rail to the roof mount, and tighten the cap screw, using a torque wrench with appropriate torque value. Mark the screw after torquing, to confirm torquing has been done. Now, to join two adjacent rails, you must insert the rail joiner, in the rail channel of both rails, and secure the rail joiner with cap screws. Tighten the cap screws using a torque wrench, with appropriate torque value. Mark the screw after torquing, to confirm torquing has been done. The rails are now connected. Following the same steps, attach the second rail. Once all the rails are in place, the PV modules can be mounted, on them. To summarize, Verify the boundaries and no work areas as given in the design document. Mark out the areas where modules are to be laid. Within the marked out area, identify the pre-existing screws and remove them. Place EDPM sheet on the holes, where the screws once were. Place L-shaped mount on top of the EDPM layer, and secure it to the roof with self-drilling screw. Talk and mark the screw. Fix aluminium rail to roof mount. Align the rail and tighten the screw. Talk and mark the screw.
to join two adjacent rails, insert the rail joiner onto both the rails and secure with cap screws. Talk and mark the screws. Following the same steps, attach the second rail. You have successfully completed this video.